Thanks for tuning in. In today's video, we're going to talk about how you can utilize AI in your applications, whether that's on Mac or Windows. So stay tuned for the second part as we will go to screen recording. Okay, welcome to today's video. Last time we used ChatGBT to help us with a shopping list um, to help work out what the total of these items were with a B lookup. This time, what we're going to do is utilize um, ChatGPT to tell us how many items we've got in this list. Um, now, this list doesn't always start directly on one because you might have tables and stuff, or you might have it further down. Um, so, although it looks obvious now, uh, this could be anywhere in a, in a spreadsheet. So, um, we want to do a total count. Uh, but we're not summing numbers, you know, unless we put one across all of these items and then sum it at the bottom. It's one way to do it. But do we want to add extra data? Most likely not. So uh, we want to do it another way. And then secondly, we want to know how many of these items are unique. So where we've got app, um, milk twice or tea twice, etc., you know, we want to take those numbers off the final total um, so we don't end up with just counting five items. Uh, this list could be hundreds long or thousands long. So we want to see what, how we can total this so it shows the amount of different items appearing in this list. So let's start with um, the um, total number of items. So we've got A1 to A9. So what ChatGBT did was it totaled it based on the amount, um, the rows we had previously, which is fine. Uh, we can just set the end number slightly different. Um, so let's just paste this in. Okay, so we can resize this um, accordingly. Lower, higher, doesn't matter. Uh, but uh, let's let's leave it at 12 um, and see. But we also need to factor in that we're starting from here. So we, we can see nine, so that's correct. Okay, so let's try our ne next formula. Okay, so ChatGPT has generated this formula here. Uh, so it will be interesting. It explains down here how it works uh, by removing duplicates. So let's put this in. And we're going to move it up to here. I've got to change the reference here as well. Okay, so we're utilizing eight. Can't divide by zero. So that didn't work for us. Uh, A1 to A11. So we might have to have another go and see what it can do for us. Okay, so we've written this slightly different this time. Um, and we can see that the formula has generated the same, same response. If I look correct last time. Some want so even though this is phrased the same, it is struggling a little bit to generate this one. So let's just pause for a moment. Okay, I've looked at the um, formula in detail, um, and when it when it goes down further, it doesn't know what to do with the empty fields. So let's just scrap this. 
um, and let's just rewrite this um, this is for the viewers that um, haven't spotted why this is breaking it looks to me like that's it so the reason that formula doesn't work is if you factor in an empty cell it doesn't know what to do with it so as soon as you put um, information again then that second formula works so to avoid that bug I'm going to ask ChatGPT to ignore blank values. Okay. Okay, this is a bit cleaner. Um, this is what um, it's good to show on a um, video when something doesn't work quite correctly. So if I just copy that and given that. Um, we change this to a a10 let's, let's just also change the starting number to one so that's where it does start and this time the formula works so it ignores the fact that if it is blank it treats it as empty text and because it treats it as empty text then it doesn't proceed further and then the rest of the formula can work accordingly so now I can delete information um, and the values add up um, and then we've got extra information typed in and now it works um, and if we lose everything it still works so that is a slightly bit more complicated but um, that formula required this additional bit of code um, and unfortunately if you're a beginner to excel and you wouldn't have realized why this um, errored out compared to the other formula but um, the difference is this one will work regardless um, so we could have said count to a20 doesn't matter um, this one did actually need um, a little bit extra if statement to ignore blank values um, so that's how you can count an item list as well as the different type of items um, so in you know if this could be you know you packing for a holiday tickets passports etc you might have four passports for your family so um, in your list it'll be like passport one passport two passport you're ticking them off um, and um, that's how you can um, add up unique values and total items. Um, this one it was a bit easier, I'll be honest with you. Um, it's just a count um, um, function. So um, that's been around in Excel for a long while. Um, and what we want to try and do is make sure these functions are also backward compatible. So it's an, even if you haven't got Office 365, and we we'll, we're making sure these functions work so they work in Excel 2007 and 2010 etc uh, so um, hope you found that helpful hope you got to enjoy some of the bugs we encountered in today's video um, and hope this um, progresses your Excel knowledge um, and how to overcome a bug uh, with the help of ChatGPT thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video